We asked the post what they thought about the post, the movie. I'm Marty Baron. I'm Carl Bernstein. I'm Dave Ferentholtz. My name is Sally Quinn. I'm Bob Woodward. I started three months after the Pentagon Papers case. It's the legacy of the company is at stake. What will happen if we don't publish? We will lose. The country will lose. Uh, I love the film. It's fabulous on every level. I loved it. It's suspenseful, even though you know what's going to happen in the end. It just has you on the edge of your seat the entire time. I spent a lot of the movie trying to pick out where my desk was and some of the scenes of the, of the newsroom, the old newsroom. And the parallels are absolutely uh, impossible to miss. I, I think it is so timely. What we're dealing with right now, with people questioning the integrity of the mainstream media, that's not a new thing. It's happened before. There's nothing that in there that's directly parallel to today, but uh, it's important to sort of understand what people did back then to sort of understand our role at this point. It's incredibly inspirational. It raises all sorts of important issues about the free press in this country, about the importance of challenging authority, and also, uh, importantly, about the role of women in our, in our society and uh, the importance of women holding uh, uh, in high level roles. To make this decision, to risk her fortune and the company that's been her entire life, well, I think that's brave. I was really struck by Catherine Graham. I mean, who has always been a heroic figure to me. She proved certainly that she could be a great leader of the Washington Post. Do you have the papers? Not yet. I mean, I'm blown away by Tom and his portrayal of Ben. The thing about Tom is that he's a truly authentic person. He is exactly who he is, and that's what Ben was. Ben had two tattoos. He had one on his shoulder and one on his behind. And I am told that Tom had the tattoo decals put on for that. <laughs> this is a movie that's perfect pitch. This is exactly the way they were. It ends with the beginning of the Watergate story. Woodward, Bernstein, you're both on the story now. Don't... Now I think people, I hope, will watch All the President's Men and bring something additional to it. It enlarges our understanding. That's what the Washington Post thought about the Post movie. But what do you think? Post below. Too much. <laughs> too many, too many posts. When, uh, Carl Bernstein and I were working on the Nixon case in Watergate. Uh, Mark Felt, who was the source identified as Deep Throat by the managing editor of the Washington Post, told us, in effect, follow the money. And in watching uh, this movie tonight, which I think is a masterpiece, I think the motto for people who are interested in going into movies or working in movies is follow the Spielberg.